check out our shirt on Teespring. Hey folks, what's happening? I'm in Santa Teresa Park and check out Place Little Dining Upon. Previously Haunted, pretty much the story is kind of like the San Jose version of Romeo and Juliet. Young girl meets a young boy. They fall in love. Parents not too happy. They try to run away. Parents get upset. Girl uses su supernatural powers and hangs up her parents one of these barns over here. That's very much a short version of the story. So this is kind of like the urban legend. There's different versions of it. Very much what happens, uh, she, some reason she tries to kill herself by going into the, into this pond. And there's stories of the, when she was doing that, these hands came out and pulled her into the water. And, um, that's pretty much what happens. Uh, they're not sure there are some kind of natural powers or something, but, uh, maybe she was sent to hell. Who knows? Maybe she's the devil child. Maybe she is the, you know what I mean? Something needs to form an exorcist in this pond. So that's pretty much a short version of the story. Um, I'm going to walk around, check this place out. It's kind of a cool park. There's a barn built around the uh, 20th century, barely over 100 years old. Um, kind of free. Uh, most of the parking to be on the streets. And we'll see. We're going to check this place out. And then maybe I get lucky and find a ghost. Maybe I'll find a day. Maybe I'll find true love. But we'll find what happens. All right. Thanks. So, um, about the interior, so very much the story is, like, uh, she used supernatural powers to kill her parents. Very much her, uh, her dad was not too happy, found out that she was going to run away with this young man, or boy, or whatever you want to call him. And, um, she, they, some kind of physically abused her. And the story is, like, she hid him in the barns, and so the parents were looking for it, and she used some kind of mind trick, or maybe she was, like, the rear version of, like, X-Men or something. And rubs came out and she hanged her parents. That's pretty much one of these barns right here. I'm not sure which one it is. There's no markers or anything. I don't know, but I think it's more like a uh, local le legend or something like that story. Okay, let's try and find the pond. So, I'm guessing I'm going to be walking um, I'm right here. I guess be walking around here. And then I'll be right there. Pretty late, supposed to be the haunted pond. Supernatural. There's a barn right here. So it could be one of these little barns that this thing happened. So we'll see what happens. Interesting tales. Well, these are your longer view of the. Uh, I'll do a second, a different video about the barns here, the history of the, the, the farmland. I'll check it out. I mean, it's free, so. I'll check it out. I'll be asked for some donation. donation. Bye. This is on ways on the trail, so I'm gonna walk on this trail. I'm gonna follow that trail right there towards the ring end. See what happens if I survive. Be my own bear witch project thing. Bye. So as we uh, walked, these are the hours. No doggies. No doggies at all. And somebody left this little little finger behind there. Maybe the old man tell me not to come. Warning. Not even warning me to come in. But it's really beautiful grass. Everything's pretty. But uh, on the way on the trails, you can see these little areas. It says little stories. There's a quick update. I was here. Five minutes later, I'm here. So I'm going to follow this path here and hopefully meet a young lady from the dead. We'll find out. So we arrive at Dottie's Pond. I'm not sure the name of it. Most of the thing of this is uh, it was called Pond. But I hear the story of the young girl. She could have walked through a hundred years, you know, something. Walked down. These hands came out and grabbed her. Here's the story of it. So that's a, a legend of Donnie's Pond. But I can't find proof of her stories about that or, or any parents getting killed in the barn getting hung. So if you know anything about this, uh, let me know. And as you walk over here, little story uh, drinking waters, Trace of Springs, but no name of a girl that killed her parents. So, yeah, Trace of Spring. That's what it's called. Um, the ducks are having a great time. So, that's the water goes right through here. And it goes right down here. 
sent the trees to the springs a little bit after the failure attempt to put the great spirit chief. I guess there are kind of myths going on. So after the failure of the attempt to do uh, a giant spring, they met the place garden unknown and shot arrows into the request of help of women falling back of the robbery and touched the rock with the silver cross water. Or interesting. So the belief traveling from the Sierra Mountains, underground rivers, Fresh made every So they got I don't know, I gotta look at the best story. There you go, there are people. They say Joe's story believed that the version of that sent tend to treat to heal the well, so, so the story about Santa Teresa, brought from the Roman 1920, honored the, okay, interesting. So as I walk in here, there's a river that came out, fell the pond, they go underground and, and goes right in there and fills it up. I guess this is it for the video, here's the other angle of it. I see no hands coming out. Come on, come out, Dottie. So, like and subscribe, tell me what you think. Uh, got any creepy stories about this place? If you're local, let me know. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, please. Bye.